Hey guys, Coastlet here, and welcome to the next thing I'm going to do on my channel alongside Advanced Wars and possibly something else. Who knows? Um, Advanced Wars will be coming. Channel update should have gone up and explained all that beforehand. So we are good to go. This is Dark Souls. It's equal to Demon Souls, which I never I own, but I've never played. And uh, Dark Souls, I initially tried to do Dark Souls when it first came out, I want to say a couple of years ago now. And uh, I think I mentioned this in the channel update. Yeah, I tried to do it. Uh, we got like three hours and it was abysmal. I was so bad at the game, like terrible. But since then I have played it. I have a couple of times on here on Xbox and on PC. I'm playing the Xbox version mostly because the online works a lot better than the PC version and I can't be as faffing with all the ports. And my PC also can't handle recording and running it at the same time. But anyway, so new game. No, we won't be using Testman. We will be using uh, what character names shall we use? I'm thinking some sort of Final Fantasy summon because I do like those. Um, what's my who's my favourite? I do like Bahamu. I do like Bahamu. I am a fan of Bahamu. Um, but yeah, let's go. Let's go Bahamu. I don't know if that's a that's a name that you know. I, I'm I'm going to spell it wrong. Uh, bah. That that's how you spell it, isn't it? That's not how you spell Bahamu. Sure, that's not. It. I'm gonna spell that wrong. So let, 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 let's run with something I can spell. Um, uh, what? What? I, I can't spell anything. And uh, I could go with Ifrit, but I've already got a character named Ifrit. Now this is not going well for the first game. This is not going well for the first episode. Let's think. Um, how's about we call him uh, something? Let's just call him something. I don't know what to call him, so yeah, something. My name is the Great Something. The Great Something. All right, he's going to be. You know what? I could, I could. I played as a girl before. Let's play as a girl. The Great Something, and we are going to be, and we are going to be a pyromancer. Pyromancer, awesome. Uh, gift, gift. Um, gift, goddess blessing. You can get black firebombs. Useless. Twenty minions. You can get binoculars. You can get. Pendant is completely useless, he's actually confirmed it being completely useless. Um, Master Key, the best one you can get. Tiny Beans Ring, useless, and Old Witch Ring, useless as well. So Master Key is what we're going with. Physique, we could have a very slim lady, a very large lady. Let's, uh, let's go for a large, up we could go for a large upper body. Uh, very large. How about we just go for skin and bones? Oh, we could go tiny head, tiny head. Top heavy, tiny head. No, we're gonna go very slim, very slim. Face. Uh, oh Jesus. Oh, okay. Let's, 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 we won't really be seeing much of the face. I'm gonna go with Far East Travel. We're gonna get some hair going on this. On it. Oh, straight A, straight B, ponytail, ponytail B, pigtails. Let's go pigtails. We're going pigtails. And we're gonna go. Let's say gold, grey, silver, silver. Alright, as you can see, as a Pyromancer we start at level 1, so we get the most bang for our buck in terms of level ups, uh, which is good. Uh, we also start with, well, we don't start with all the, the stuff there, but we, we will get it in the opening section. So let's on with the game! The opening cutscene. This is very nice. In the very... age of ancients. Whoa. This is about as much story as you get from the game, by the way. This is it. This is pretty much the story you get. Everything else is based on items. Descriptions. A land of grey crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. It is a just so that we will we will visit this guy at some point. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we will visit this guy at some point. Uh, that's that's the plan. Fire. If there was dragons, surely there'd be fire. Was always my thought. But... Whoa. Heat. And cold. People could finally keep Light. themselves warm in the dark of the yes. night. And of course, light and dark. Oh, shiny fire. Flames. Then from the dark, they came. Zombies! No, no, not and zombies. found the souls of lords. These are humans. The would you, would you, Adam and Eve? It. These are humans. Nito, the first of the dead. 
So I just thought I'd leave a laugh or two in there. I just, I, you know, just adding it in. The Witch of Isolith and her daughters of chaos. Don't trust witches. Gwyn, the Lord of Sunlight and his faithful knights. One ring to rule them all. And the furtive pygmy, so easily forgotten. Aww, poor baby. With the strength of lords, they challenge oh, yeah. the dragons. Final Fantasy transition. <laughs> no. Gwyn's mighty bolts peeled apart. God and dragons. Witches weaved great firestorms. Nito unleashed a miasma of death and disease. That, that's just creepy. And Seath the scales betrayed his own, and the dragons were no more. Dragon without scales is something that sounds rather cool. Thus began the Age of Fire. Beautiful. But soon the flames will fade, and only dark will remain. Even now, there are only embers, and man sees not light, but only endless nights. And zombies? No, no zombies. Well, yeah. And amongst the living are seen carriers of the accursed dark side. Now I've watched this, I will die in seven days. That's how this works, right? That's how this works? I thought that's how this worked. No? Okay. Fair enough. So, that's pretty much all the story you will get from Dark Souls. Um, the world was dark and dragons, and then they got, and then basically humans and stuff found fire and fought back the dragons. But the fire's yes, pretty much running out and it's corrupted um, all the, the people that have the souls. Brand. Um, and, and you are someone who is the dark sign, one of the unchosen undead who and will bring back the fire or rule the land in darkness or something like that. The they're, they're, they're the choices. The but because um, no one likes us because we're undead, obviously. No one likes a zombie. Um, they put us all in a prison and that's where, where we'll start. Locked, locked away with nothing um, awaiting the end of the world. The end of the world. Uh, it's not really the end of the world though. A lot of people have sort of uh, envisioned online that it's sort of the um, right now it's all a very sort of earth and medieval world that rejecting the fire will uh, bring back a sort of a, a technological advancement that allow humans to get their own um, sort of fix on the world. Uh, but we'll go into that later. We'll go into that later. Most of the story is told through item descriptions and the lore and stuff like that, and pop up on loading screens and things. So it's actually quite an interesting game, and the fact that it doesn't feed you the story. It doesn't say, oh no, this is the giant bad guy we should be dealing with and fighting. Um, it just sort of go, says, you're chosen, do this. And it doesn't even say do this unless you talk to the right person. And then you just have to um, get on with the story, really, and carry on. Um, like I said, this is the Xbox version. Um, oh, finally get control. This is the Xbox version. I would... See, I'd recommend the Xbox version. Great, if you, if you kind of want the more online with the less hassle. But if you want to play a nice looking version, get the, the get the PC version. The modders have fixed it now, so it looks good. All right, right, stick camera. Uh, and yeah, the 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 PC version is pretty good now, with the um, with the Durante fix and that sort of thing. So we can kill these guys for souls. Um, I know that. Right, so right bumper, which I always found weird, is the attack button, but it actually makes sense. Uh, B is a quick roll, uh, which changes depending on your weight. Obviously, I've got some uh, robes on so I, right now I can roll reasonably well there is a quicker roll than that we'll try and get later uh, left bumper is uh, blocked but we don't have a shield yet you're dead don't you pray to your gods now oh yeah, you can do a kick if you sort of press forward and right bumper together 
kind of almost fighting game mechanic ish, but um, don't don't let that don't, don't let that put you off. I'm literally talking about two uh, and the jump as well. We can jump. I'll, I'll, let's show you jump. If you hold B, you run, and if you double tap it, you will jump. Yay! So I'm a pyromancer. But anyway, this is a bonfire. These are checkpoints. Um, once you light a bonfire, you can rest at a bonfire, and this basically um, resets all the enemies. Um, now a lot of people. Like, don't like this game, I like it. It's, it is challenging, but while challenging, it's very rewarding when you finish something. Um, but uh, but some people just see the difficulty as a put off. Let's exit. Oh shit! <laughs> I knew that was coming. I can't, I can't pretend to fight. Whoa, okay. Yeah, you don't want to fight this guy yet. I don't know why I'm trying to run away. Because you have no way of blocking and no way of healing. And I really don't want to die here because that would be bad luck. So you run through this little door here. I can't believe I took damage, but it's alright. Just the, bomb, the bonfire, if I rest it, it will heal me. Yeah, you rest it at a bonfire, it heals you fully. Um, as well as respawning on the enemies. In. Get your shield! So, this is like basically a tutorial area. Uh, the pause button, as well, doesn't actually. The pause button doesn't actually pause the game, which is uh, funny. Oh uh, yeah, I take that. I take that. Come on, you're running away. What are you running for? What are you running for? I forget what my opening weapon is. Oh, it's a hand axe. Um, quickly want to show you. May as well get rid of straight still hot. If you press X here, it shows you the strength. Obviously, the axe is better. With shields, oh no. Equip with shields. Um, you can see there's damage reduction, physical, magic, fire, lightning. Uh, it only blocks 65% of damage. Just the shield. So. One of our first things we want to get is a shield that blocks 100% of damage. Uh, there is one later on, I believe. Whoa. I don't know this game inside and out. I know it enough to complete it, and I know I find things at certain points and where certain items are, but we'll see how it goes. Um, you know, we'll see how it goes. So, white light normally traverses you into a new area. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, uh, let's head to the top of this place. Boulder! Boulder! Uh oh. Did not get the roll off quick enough, but you've got to trigger that anyway. And there's a guy now at the top of there, but we'll leave him be. Um, and we'll head in here. Talk to this guy. Oh, you. You're no hollow. Hmm? No, sir. Well, yeah, kind of. I'm done for, I'm afraid. I'll die soon, then lose my sanity. Oh. I wish to ask something of you. You and I, we're both undead. Hear me out, will you? You have to say yes to this question. If you don't but keep saying no, I think you have, have to. But you could kill him and get the stuff as well. But, but nah, I don't want to do that. Can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my family: "Thou who art undead art chosen." And thine chosen. exodus from the undead asylum maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lore. What I, what kind of like is? While it is a very standard like JRPG trope, as it will, you are a chosen you know, one. Uh, they kind of do shroud it in a nice sort of uh, package. my heart. You know, oh, you're just one of many, one it's just thing. that you're lucky that you're one to be picked. Here, take this. Okay. An Estus flask. An undead favourite. Nom nom nom, this is our heal main, main healing ability. Oh, and this. Um, and, uh, but you can get magic that heals no, you. I must bid farewell. I would hate to harm you after death. So go now. Now you can kill this guy. Uh, right now, but you don't get really much for it. But you can come out later and kill him and get a lot more for it, so we're going to do that. First things first, though. Head back down. We can now, we can rest this bonfire. And just get a check. Oh, what? Something died. Someone clearly fell off a cliff there, and I got 100 souls for it. Uh, which is nice. Now, do I have my... Oh, I don't have my glove yet. No glove, no love. Yeah, that, that that's the saying. No glove, no love. In this game, it's no glove, no fire. Right, come on then. So this is just basically to get you used to the combat. So you block attacks with LB, and then you just want to time it right. Really, it's all about learning patterns. And will I go jump? Nope. Okay. Sometimes you glitch and you pop up there, but okay. It's all about learning patterns and everything. But over here, I believe, would be my pyromancy gloves. Yeah, pyromancy flames. So let's see if we can equip that quickly before these enemies pop that one up. Um. So pyromancy flame basically means I can now use magic. So let's find him. Let's find a guy to test this on. Okay, no, don't want you. I want you. I need to go boom. Oh, I got interrupted. Shit. I forgot this one's got a charge up. And as you can see, the glove pretty much destroys most things in the early game. Um, it is a bit of an easy mode. 
but trust me, the benefits from it vanish within... I'd say about an hour of playing, probably any benefits. I mean, you can get it, you can get the glove. Uh, one of the good things about this game is your starting class doesn't really mean much except for the first few things of the game. Oh yeah, I kick you, I kick you, I kick you and then I slice you. I kick you and then I... Whoa, that's stamina. Yeah, you gotta watch your stamina. You need stamina to attack, dodge, etc. Can I get the backstab? Backstab! Ugh, yeah, backstab. We can't go any further this way, so uh, let's head back for now. Um, as you can see, I took damage even though I didn't really get hit there. That's because I was blocking. Okay, so I'm going to equip my glove for this fight because I want to give some love to this demon. Actually, no, I don't want my glove straight off the bat. I want. And then as you jump off, slam down for nice wedge of damage. And then run away, run away, run away, run away, run away, run away. Alright, okay. So, I can fling fireballs at him from a distance, and this boss is pretty easy. It is meant to be the tutorial boss. Um, we will. Oh, shit. Yeah, so that's your healing. Oh, come on. Let's get out of here. Back up, back up. I'm stuck on a pot, aren't I? I'm stuck on a pot. Right, okay. Flame on, sucker! Oh, I just got the block off on that. Why am I not rolling? Chug! Roll! Oh, that was close. Alright, okay. Do not know why I'm not rolling more. You need to roll more. This game is all about the rolling. Now, this guy is now dead. Oof. I love you. Good night. Good night. Good dark. That, that means good day. I don't know why I said that. Right. So after that we get a humanity and the key to escape this place. I'm going to chug my flask. Heal up. Don't worry. If you felt that guy was easy, trust me, a lot of bosses later on will get much harder. Much, much, much harder. <sighs> Breathe in that lovely dead mountain air. <sighs> Smells amazing, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, you really take the breath in. Now over there, over around this corner, is something, see that, that little nest there? That's something we'll come back to later. It's basically like a training post, you can drop certain things and swap for other items, but as we have nothing yet, well, it's not point. So, let's jump off the cliff. I don't want to live anymore. I might be the chosen one, but I, I, I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't save the world from these mountains. I've got to save the world from... Giant Crows! So, I d does this mean that we're just like a mini world? This is like a Bugs Life, Bugs Life Dark Souls style. Is that all it is? I, I, I don't know. But no, all it's just giant crows. But a giant crow. So, he carries us off out of the tutorial area, which we will come back to. We will come back to this area, um, and it will be beefed up um, significantly. But for now, you know, nice tutorial area. Get us into the swing of things. That's how, that's how this rolls. It's, it's nice. I mean,. It's not as give, forgiving as other tutorials in other games, but obviously it's, it's still a nice little introduction. It doesn't really prepare you much, it just tells you controls, but uh, yeah, yeah, it's alright. I'm, I'm glad I didn't die to this island team. Really, really thought I would, but I didn't. And uh, the bird will happily drop us off here. At what is basically the main hub of the game, you'll be coming back here an awful lot. From here you can get pretty much anywhere. Um, so in large round, level up and kindle up bonfires, but this is Firelink Shrine. Uh, and here is the main hub of the game, and as you can see it tells us we can level up and kindle up bonfires, so once once that prompt goes, we can rest at the bonfire. This will yeah, you know, as fast as now this 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 bonfire is kindled, which means it's strengthened, so it will give us more as fast. So we can reverse our hollowing and become human, which opens up the PvP and the you know, jolly cooperation. Uh, but we don't have any humanity yet, we can kindle, but again that's humanity. Attune magic is something you can do if you like a, you have the ability to cast magic, but as you can see, we haven't got any more spells to stick in that other slot. So let's level up. Now, with a pyromancer like me, there's a weapon I want early on, and I know it's going to need 14 strength and 14 dexterity. Dexterity, do it. So if we boost up my dexterity, I can't say the word, my dex, if we boost up my dex first, to even 12 of my strength and that's probably a good place to start and uh, we are now ready to venture further on into the world of Dark Souls 
and uh, but we'll just probably call it quits for this first episode for now. And uh, next episode we will explore that other Firelink Shrine and maybe push forward. I don't want to explore much of the Firelink Shrine because some of it will kick your ass. But um, but for now this has been Coastland. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the flip side. Oh, okay. Guess he just couldn't take my me axing him a question. Eh? Eh?